This instructional video will show you how to install, connect and program the SKF TLMP Multipoint Automatic Lubricator. From an overview of everything that comes in the kit to installation and getting started. But first you should read the instructions for use which also includes important safety information. The SKF TLMP series are multi-point automatic lubrication systems which apply very precise amounts of lubricant at the correct frequency and at the right points to maintain the correct amount of fresh lubricant in your mechanical components at all times. This is done dynamically while the machine is operating, allowing the lubricant to penetrate the wear surfaces and continuously protect against contaminants. Key benefits of using an automatic lubricator include improved employee safety, increased machine reliability and optimized maintenance operations. The TLMP series has a 1 litre reservoir and a stirring paddle, making it suitable for a range of lubricants and ideal for various agricultural applications, off-road vehicles and industrial applications. The TLMP is packaged as a complete kit and includes the pump unit, fittings, the straight tube connectors for application, the tube connectors on pump, the outlet closure plugs, the electrical connectors, the plastic pipe. Depending on your configuration, you can use some or all of the outlets. With the pump unit mounted on a firm surface, connect the pump to the correct power supply. The electrical installation should be done by a qualified electrician and must comply with the specifications provided in the TLMP Instructions for Use. You can use, amongst other methods, SKF Lube Select to select a choice of SKF greases according to the running condition of your machinery. And with SKF Dial Set, you can also identify the correct pause time to be used in the programming process of your TLMP unit. You can access both of these SKF software tools via the following links. Once the correct grease has been selected, the unit can be filled with fresh grease. Before filling the reservoir, screw out the yellow transport locks from the metering device outlets. Then close all the unneeded outlets with screws. And install the pump tube connectors on all the open outlets. The unit can now be filled with fresh grease using either a grease filler pump or a standard grease gun. The grease gun should be applied to the reservoir filling nipple. The total amount of grease necessary to fill the reservoir plus the lower part of the lubricator is approximately 1.8 litres. Fill the reservoir with the fresh grease until the max marking on the reservoir body is reached. Disconnect the grease gun and, before starting the priming process, position a bin below the pump to collect leaking lubricant. Press the green key to start the pump priming cycle. The pump starts to work. Grease should exit from all the open outlets. If not, press the green key once again. On completion, the Ready for Operation sign should be displayed. Remove the bin and dispose of any used grease in accordance with local legislation. Next, measure to each lubrication point and cut the plastic pipes to the correct length. Apply the grease gun to the plastic pipe on one end and pump until the grease emerges from the other end. The filled pipes can now be connected to the pump unit on one end and to the lubrication point on the other end. The system should now be programmed to meet the lubrication needs of your equipment. This is achieved via the keypad by following a programming sequence. Prior to programming, the pause time and the number of cycles have to be calculated. This should be done using the SKF dial set software. Full instructions for the programming sequence are provided within the instructions for use. 
To enter the programming mode, simultaneously press the green and the red keys in the keypad during at least 4 seconds. P1 should be displayed. In P1, the hour value of the pause time can be selected. Change the value by pressing the green key. Once the desired value is displayed, press the red key within 30 seconds to confirm. Otherwise, it will default to the original setting. P2 should now be displayed and sets the minute value of the pause time. Press the green key to get the desired value. In this example, P1 is set to 10 and P2 is set to 15, which will generate a pause of 10 hours and 15 minutes. Press the red key to get to P3. P3 sets the number of cycles between two pauses. This setting is available for the TLMP1008 exclusively. For the TLMP1018, it is set to 1 and cannot be modified. As previously, use the green key to select the right value. On completion, press the red key again. P4 is now displayed. In P4, the type of output signal can be set to either NC for normally closed contact or NO for normally open contact. Select with the green key. Then press the red key to confirm and move to the next step. P5 is now displayed. In this step, it is determined whether a differentiation is made between a fault signal and a low-level signal. Two dashes means that no differentiation is made. N means intermittent low-level signal, functional faults as permanent signal, on. U means intermittent low-level signal, functional faults as permanent signal, off. Select and confirm as before. P6 is now displayed. P6 defines how the pump will start when it is switched on either with a pause time, SP setting, or a lubrication cycle, SO setting. Select and confirm. The P message should now be displayed, indicating that the programming sequence has been completed. The new settings need to be confirmed by an additional press of the red key within 30 seconds. Otherwise, the new setting will be lost. To check you have the right values programmed in, you can cycle through each one by pressing the green and red keys simultaneously. Then move from one value to the next every other second by pressing the red key. Until the P message is reached again. The lubricator can now be started. To do so, press the green key. Refer to the instructions for use for recommendations for cleaning and repair and troubleshooting. For more information, go to skf.com or contact your local authorized SKF distributor.